everyone, Jen here from Jenny and Teddy. So in this video, we are going to make the Lily Easy Poncho. As you can see, I modeled the example side and my auntie, she also modeled the example side for me. So example side, it can fit from size small to large. My auntie, she size large. You can also follow me on Instagram to see the new pattern update. Um, during you watching the video, I would love you go to get the free writing pattern on my blog with the very detailed step by step um, photo tutorial. And this poncho, the size is available from small to 2XL. I will put the link in the description below for you go to get the free writing pattern and the poncho basic construction is they are made from um, two rectangle the front panel and back panel and then we will join them by sewing to create a um, v-neck style poncho and um, that's all we done I hope you go enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching so let's get going so what you need is a crochet hook side um, 4 mm crochet hook a yarn needle stitch marker and something cute and a pair of scissors, the measuring tape and the yarn that I use is for this poncho is a cotton DK weight yarn you can also use the 4 medium weight yarn but if you use the cotton DK, it will be more lightweight. So let's get started. So in this example size, it's fitting from size small to large. And I will have uh, another size available in the writing pattern on my blog i will put the link in the description below so the we will start the foundation chain the foundation chain will be um in multiple of two and for this example size size small to large we will start with the chain 70 so we will start with the slip knot and then we will chain 70 70 chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and i will go off the camera and meet you when i finish 70 chain and remember the foundation chain is multiple of 2 or in even number so I will meet you at 70 chain I am now have um, 70 chain already and I am gonna going to measure my foundation chain um, 10 it's about um, 18 inch but because I stretch it it will be 19 so if we get um, 18 inch should be okay 18 to 19 inch so if you stretch the chain, you will get 19. If you not stretch, you will get 18 inch. 
So, sorry, um, we will start on row one. On row one, we will just do um, single crochet in each chain across, just one single crochet. One single crochet, one single crochet, and one single crochet. Just keep making one single crochet in each chain across. I will meet you at the end of the row. Yeah, just keep making one single crochet. Hi, and now I am at the end of row one. That we just uh, make single crochet in each chain across. On row two. At the end we chain one and turn on row two um oh, I forgot to tell you we are now we are we making the front panel so on row two um we will make some kind of mesh stitch mini mesh so on row two, we will skip one stitch here. Skip one stitch. This stitch we skipping. Skip one stitch, and slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip stitch, and then we will chain two, one and two. Then we will skip one stitch and then we make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Slip stitch, chain two, one, two, skip one stitch, make slip stitch in the next. We just keep going, repeat this step by um, chain two. One, two, skip one stitch. Um, I get something to point to you. Skip this stitch. So after you chain two, skip this stitch, the next stitch, and then we make slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain two, one, two. Keep one stitch, make slip stitch in next. Keep going. Chain two, skip one stitch and slip stitch in next stitch. Slip stitch. You need to pull the yarn a bit more. We will crochet this um, not too tight. And we will keep repeating this by um, chain two, skip one stitch and slip stitch in the next stitch until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row two. Hi girl, I'm back. Um, I just um, finished chain two, skip one stitch and slip stitch in next. I am at the end of row two now. So we just made something like um, this. And then at the end of row 2, we chain 2, 1 and 2. On row 3, this row is will be very easy. Easy as 1, 2, 3. So chain 2, turn your work. And then we will slip stitch in the chain 2 space from the previous row. How easy is, is that? Then chain 2, slip stitch in the next chain 2 space from the previous row. Uh-huh, yes. Chain 2, you see the chain 2 space from the previous row, the next chain 2 space, we just slip stitch chain 2 find the next 
Shantou space here. So each Shantou space here and here until the end, we will make slip stitch. So slip stitch in here. Chain two, and then we slip stitch in the neck chain space. Chain two, slip stitch in the neck chain space. We keep doing this until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row three here. Just keep chain 2 and slip stitch in the next chain space chain 2 and slip stitch in the next chain space I'm now at the end of row 3 so at the end of row 3 I just did um, slip stitch in the last chain space here and then we chain 2 1, 2 turn your work Um, on row 4, we just repeat row 3 by um, slip stitch in the chain space from the previous row, chain 2, 1, 2, slip stitch in the next chain space from the previous row, so basically we repeat row 3, 1, 2, chain 2, slip stitch, in the chain space, the next chain space, chain 2, and then slip stitch in the next chain space. Just keep repeating this by chain 2, slip stitch in the next chain space. Repeat this until the end of the row. So we will repeat um, row 3, row after row until um, we measure about um, uh, 18 inch 16 to 18 inch this one will be the front panel and then after we have the 16 to 18 inch of this this stitch we will um, continue to make the front panel longer by um, another simple stitch, just double crochet. So, so we will repeat row 3 like this until we have 16 to 18 inch this way. I still can't remember the horizontal or vertical. Horizontal? Vertical? So just this way, 18 inch or 16 inch, I'll see you there. Hi guys, I'm back. I'll just um, repeat row 3 until I have 16 inch. So, we will... Um, Measure uh, It's about 17 inch If you got 18 inch will be fine too So 16 to 18 be okay And then after this we are going to do the Add the front panel to be longer. So, see you on the next one. Hi, girl, I'm back. After we have um, 18 inch long of this mini mesh stitch, we will add the non mini mesh, which is double crochet stitch on the front panel to make the front panel to be longer about 34 to 36 inch and at the end we chain 2 1 and 2 turn your work 
assume that I have 18 inch of the mini mesh already and on row 1 of non mini mesh we will make double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across so if you see the chain 2 space from the previous row make double crochet make one double crochet and then if you see the slip stitch from the previous row this one we we did a slip stitch we make one double crochet see chain two space make one double crochet slip stitch make one double crochet chain two space one double crochet see you see the slip stitch here slip stitch make one double crochet chain two space make one double crochet so one double crochet in on the slip stitch from the previous row chain two space make one double crochet slip stitch one double crochet chain two space one double crochet keep repeating this until the end of the row i will meet you at the end of the row so now i am at the end of row one of the non mini mesh stitch we will chain two turn your work so um on this row we just made the double crochet in each chain and in each um slip stitch from the previous row so just simple make double crochet so on row two chain two and turn um, this row is just double crochet in each stitch across one double crochet one double crochet um, one double crochet just keep making one double crochet in each stitch across one double crochet this one you will see the stitch easy Just keep making one double crochet in each stitch across until the end of the row here so we now at the end of row 2 of a non mini mesh you just make double crochet in each stitch across at the end we chain 2 turn your work and now on row 3 row 3 we just um, make double crochet in the next stitch from hook chain 1 Keep one double crochet in next chain one skip one stitch and double crochet in next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch just keep repeating this by chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch just keep repeating this until the end of the row i meet you at the end of row three now i am at the end of row three row one row 
two, row three, row four and row five. On row four, chain two and turn. Row four, we just make um double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across. One double crochet. You see the chain space here, we make one double crochet. Stitch here, we make one double crochet. Chain space, one double crochet. Stitch, one double crochet. Chain space, make one double crochet. And stitch, make one double crochet chain space so in the chain space we make one double crochet and in the stitch we make one double crochet so we will keep repeating this until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of row 4 just keep making one double crochet in chain space and in the stitch Um, now I am at the end of row 4 we just stitch double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across on row 5 at the end we chain 2 turn your work row 5 we did all we do is just double crochet in each stitch across Just make one double crochet in each stitch across. Just keep making one double crochet in each stitch across and I will meet you at the end of row 5. And we will start on row 6 together. I am now, I am at the end of row 5. We just stitched a um, double crochet in each stitch across. And at the end we chain 2. Turn your work. And on row 6, we will do this, this row, the same as this row. So on row 6, we will make double crochet in the next stitch from hook chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch. We keep repeating this until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row 6. Just keep chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make double crochet in the next stitch. I go, I'm back. So now I am at the end of row 6, so we counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so row 1 is here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this row is a non mini mesh stitch row, this row is a mini mesh stitch that we just make about 16 to 18 inch long this way and then we will top the the rectangle to be the longer to get about 36 inch maybe 32 to 36 inch to be longer and now we are going to repeat row 4 to 6 so row 4, row 5, row 6 we will repeat row 4, 5 and 6, row after row until we have 36 inch or 34 inch 
along this way of the rectangle so row 4, 5, 6 so after row 6 you will um, repeat row 4 by we do um, double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across and then repeat row 5 just make double crochet in each stitch and row 6 we make the the simple last this one so I will go off the camera and repeat row 4, 5 and 6 until I got about 36 inch long meet you there so now I finish um, repeat row 4 to row 6 row after row until I got about 34 to 36 inch long so this part um, will be about 18 or 18 inch for the mini mesh and then this part like I said we repeat row 4 to 6 and we will have the pattern like this so we finished the front panel already and we will start on the back panel after this Now on the back panel, we are going to do the, the foundation chain in the multiple of two and we will chain 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I will meet you at um, 70 chain. Now I have 70 chain already and then on row 1 and row 2 um, of the back panel row 1 and row 2 we just make double crochet in each chain across oh, sorry. on row 1 we make double crochet in each chain across and on row 2 we make double crochet in each stitch across so we keep making this is row 1 we keep making one double crochet in each chain across and I will meet you at the end of the row of row 1 of the back panel so we are at the end of row 1 now we will chain 2 and turn your work on row 2 we will make one double crochet in each stitch across one double crochet one double crochet and one double crochet one double crochet in each stitch across I will meet you at the end of row 2 of one double crochet in each stitch across and now at the end of row 2 we chain 2 and turn on row 3 we will make um, one double crochet in the Next stitch, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and make 1 double crochet in next, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and 1 double crochet in next, chain 1, skip 1 stitch and 1 double crochet in next, chain 1, Keep one stitch and one double crochet in next. Chain one. Skip one stitch and one double crochet in next stitch. 
So we will keep repeating this until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of row 3. I'm now at the end of row 3 now. If you have one stitch left, just make one double crochet. So on row 4 and row 5, we chain 2 at the end. Turn your work. So row 1, row 2, row, row 1, row 2, row 3. Row 4 and row 5, we will make one double crochet in each stitch across. So row 4, we make one double crochet in each stitch. If you see the chain space, just make one double crochet. Just make one double crochet in each stitch and in each chain across. On row 4. And at the end of row 4, you will chain 2 and turn. And on row 5, we will make one double crochet in each stitch. So we will make one double crochet in each stitch. I will finish row 4 and row 5. And we'll meet you at the end of row 5. We just keep making one double crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. Now I am at the end of row 5, row 1, row 2, 3, 4, 5. So then we will repeat row 3, 4, 5. We will repeat row 3 to row 5, row after row, until we have the length, the long and matching with the front panel. So we will repeat row 3 to row 5 until we have about 34 to 36 inch long and I will go off the camera and meet you when I got about 34 to 36 inch I'll see you there so now um, I repeat um, finish repeating row 3 to row 5 3 4 5 row after row and I got about um, 36 in or 34 inch long that the length we will make of the length of this back panel we match the front panel so um, on the next one we will do um, assemble together So now we are going to assemble. We will lay them in the L shape. This is the front panel and this is the back panel. So I will show you how I lay them in the L shape. Like this. And this. So we lay them in the L shape. And we are going to um, join them together on this side first. Hang on. So we are going to join them on here. First, use a yarn needle. Now we done one side. Now we join them already one side and then we will do the rest by fold them. Fold them like this. And you fold the other side. Fold 
for here. And um, we are going to sew on this side. That's all we done. This one is the open neck. And that's all we done. I hope you go enjoy the tutorial. And thank you so much for watching. If you make one, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation.